This is one of the DeLoreans used in the movie Back to the Future. The mythical time machine, powered by plutonium, was on display at a future car show in San Jose, California. While this car is fiction, the other alternative fuel vehicles shown here are fact. Some available now, some coming in the near future. As California sets new standards to lower emissions by half, while pushing for increased gas mileage requirements by 2025. It's going to be a challenge for industry to meet the 54.5 miles per gallon. Uh, it's not, not going to be easy, and it will change the vehicles that we have. It's going to change the engines, it may change the fuels, it may change the technology that drives the cars. The goal, of course, is to reduce pollution and reliance on fossil fuels. Unlike the last round of new standards debated a decade ago, the auto industry seems to be on board this time. When we did the first greenhouse gas standards, uh, it was war. I mean, they, they were just absolutely clear that they didn't want to do this, that we shouldn't do this, that we didn't have the authority to do this. They sued us in two federal courts, and uh, fortunately, from our viewpoint, they lost. And over that time, uh, you know, with the increase in gasoline prices, uh, the you know, shakeup in the in the auto industry that I think brought new management that looked at the future. Where's our future? It's not profits next quarter, but it's how do we make a sustainable business? Yes, the cars will be lighter, compact, far more fuel efficient, if that's the word, and uh, that's what the uh, mandate will be, not enforced by government, but really by the economics of the future. But experts say the best way to get more drivers to buy fuel-efficient vehicles is to make them more affordable. As the vehicles become more popular, historically prices have always come down. Uh, in some cases, some of the new technologies, they have to come down in order to be affordable. Uh, the automakers can't charge what it costs to make some of these some of the new technology cars. In addition to the new emissions and fuel standards, California will also require that 15 percent of all vehicles sold by 2025 are electric cars. Meanwhile, the federal government is pushing new nationwide requirements to catch up to California's strict standards. Haven Daily, Associated Press, San Jose, California.